Hello, my name is Brian Postel, and uh, my father, Russ Postel, was one of the founding uh, members and directors of Silver Star Sports. Silver Star is on First Nations uh, land, and it was split between the Okanagan and the Skeleton, uh, which is the Shushwap bands, and they used that for uh, hunting and gathering back in the early days. And then I believe in uh, 1896, there was a uh, silver mine. So after the forestry lookout was put in 1914, uh, Board of Trade in Vernon lobbied the uh, government to actually put a road up here for tourism in the summertime. Uh, because there was always some people in the wintertime that knew that this was a, a great hill to ski on and they would actually hike in, took them all day to hike in and they would uh, skin up to the top and then maybe make one, maybe two runs in all day. So that road was put in by the forestry. So I think Bill Attridge coerced him into uh, joining the group and building the last two or three miles of road so they could actually get access to the bottom of the hill. And that happened in uh, 1958. Remember the rope toe was very steep and uh, be, being a light young lad, there was a section in it and it ran, I was talking to Carl, he said it was running at a thousand feet, feet per minute, which is pretty fast. So when you grabbed onto the rope toe as a, as a young lad, it was burning through your gloves, wearing your gloves out, and then you never had enough power there, so you'd clamp the rope toe underneath your arm, and then your jacket was getting burnt up, and I remember my mom was quite upset that I was wrecking my jacket and my gloves, but we were skiing, so we were having fun. <laughs> yeah, my name is Carl Ernst. Uh, I've, uh, Worked up here on Silver Star Mountain in 1960. The way I came up here was that I worked as a machinist for Bill Attrich in Vernon Machine and Equipment. Some equipment from France arrived with all French instructions and everything for the Palma lift. So Bill said, why don't you go up with all this stuff? You can read the instructions and uh, go ahead and uh, put it in. So we started the ski season in uh, early November in 1960 and uh, we had Saturday, Sunday, Monday for operation. The directors would come up. Uh, there was naturally Bill Attridge, Russ Postel, uh, Joe Peters, uh, Johnny Casa, Mike Lady, and John Hindle too. 1968 we built the first yellow chair on Silver Star Mountain. In 1970, we built the green chair, which, uh, you know, brought the whole area into, into the sort of the big ski areas, two chair lifts. 1976, we built the blue chair, which is in the same alignment as the Comet is now the six seater. So that was the development uh, that Silver Star took. Remember that's uh, Easter weekend. All the ladies had to wear Easter hats. Yes. Every Easter we had that same Easter parade with all yeah. the funny hats and everything. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jerry Googe and I had the good fortune of being the ski school director up here at Silver Star Mountain from 1972 to 82. It was a dirt road in those days to get up here, but it was in good shape. And the lunch room or the day lodge was right down here where the pinnacles are now. And that was the lunch counter. And it's also where we had our entertainment for our ski weeks in the evening. On uh, Monday night, we'd have a movie night then we'd have a dance and we'd have a sing-along. So every night there was something going on. And right now I'm standing in the location where the mid tee, this is where you used to get off the mid tee and you'd either ski down this run uh, and, or you'd get on the high tee, which used to go right up what we used to call suicide. The secret to the whole thing was the friendliness of it and the good snow, of course. My, my son was born in 66, and that winter he was skiing, or no, it was the following winter, it would have been 67. He was skiing with my wife 
and my son is on my wife's back in what's called a pacapoose or a hikapoose. And he's going up the palm and he's swinging his feet and next thing you know, the feet stop and his head goes to the side and he's fast asleep going up the palm. And I'm in the back taking the movie and it was just so hilarious. Hello, my name is Norm Crerar. I was partner and general manager of Silver Star Mountain from 1981 until 1995. And where I'm standing is the base of the yellow chair that went from, the, from here up to the east shoulder of Silver Star Mountain. And this was the end of the maze. And on a day like today, we would have had uh, three or 400 people in this maze. Of course, lots of changes here at Silver Star Mountain since then. Putnam Station. Uh, was the only hotel down, the only building down in the, in, in the new village. And uh, it went through the first winter by itself. And uh, you know, in the building on, on, on this side was the Vance Creek Hotel. And uh, the dining room um, part of it was built and the saloon was the bottom part. The saloon was finished so that we could put it into operation right away. In 1987, we started to look to expand uh, the area. And uh, we looked down at the Punt of Watershed, which is to the northeast. And um, it was a, a, a big expansion. It was a, the biggest expansion, I think, in, on any area in the interior you know, uh, since the 40s. Uh, we put in a, a quad detachable chair. It was in one of the runs, it was uh, Holy Smokes. And it was after a huge snowfall. And uh, we were skiing down. We got halfway down. and. The snow was up to our waist on the thing. We got halfway down, we had to stop because we couldn't go any further. And we said, holy smokes. And there, we knew it was going to be a great, great run and it was part of a great area. Uh, my name is Ken Durpak. I'm the managing director of Silver Star Mountain Resort. This is a hidden gem in a number of, uh, number of ways. There's seven different activities that are all included in, we used to call it my one pass. They're all included in that day ticket or that season's pass. You know, you can go uh, uh, alpine skiing, you can go cross-country skiing, you can go snowboarding, you can go tubing, you can go fat biking, you can go uh, snowshoeing, you can go skating. I mean, all of these activities are all under one umbrella, so to speak, and that's something that's very unique in our industry. We have the ability to go from seven chairs now to 20. <clears throat> We've adding a gondola this summer. It'll be open in, in, uh, in July sometime. And uh, that's taken out the old uh, vintage summit chair, the green chair uh, from, that was put in the 70s. Uh, it's a fixed grip double. It's going to be replaced with a high speed, uh, um, state of the art eight passenger gondola. Uh, we don't do any snowmaking to date. That's pretty incredible when you think about it. I mean, this year, for example, finishing up this season, a 68 year high in snowfall. The place is just phenomenal. And it's, a, it's really a diamond in the rough. And that's, what I love about it, it's got so many features, it's unbelievable.